Damn, that's a nice cup of tea. Whoa. 51.2% of you guys are not subscribed? If you guys could subscribe, it would help me out a lot. I would really, really appreciate it. But anyway, enjoy the video. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox video. My name is Lobby, and today, guys, we're back in Roblox Studio. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simulator map and a simulated game with all the scripts, everything that like that. The scripts will be in part two, but this is more the building of a simulator map. Anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, so obviously, you'll need a map. A base plate here you can use because this this base plate's going to be covered in stuff in a moment. So then, what you're going to first want to do is have Explorer and Properties open. If you don't know how to get there, go to View and then Explorer and Properties there or there. Then go back to Home and then underneath this part here, there's an arrow. And then what you're going to want to do is click the cylinder. And as you can see, a cylinder spawned there. Let's just zoom up to it. So there we are. We have a nice cylinder. Now you're going to want to press Rotate. You can do this in a fully different way, but I'm doing it um, in the way I would really build a, build a simulator. To have like a nice spawn point here. Just go like that. There we are. Then we can just go like that, and then it will fully expand. Good. Like that. Okay. Then to uh, get like the studs right, I'm going to use this. Um, wait, where's it gone? I'll just use this guy for now. I don't know where my other plugin has gone. Bit weird, but okay, yeah, come on, guy. Move. Oh, great. Now there's two. How do I delete one? Okay, that guy can stand there, and then this guy can here. So, as you can see, that is a normal person's size, and then that will how big your spawn would be. So, that actually looks like a perfect size for like a spawn point, maybe a tad bigger. There we are. Perfect. Plenty of space for the spawn point, all that you need for a spawn point, but yeah. Okay, so what we can do now is click on the uh, on the cylinder here, also known as our spawn point, and then we'll change it to a nice colour. So if we go here, we'll use a smooth plastic underneath material. We we'll use a nice smooth plastic. It's nothing too different from just normal plastic, but yeah. It looks about there. That's like a normal brick yellow sort of look. If you wanted to make it like a mud color, could maybe use um, maybe like a, that sort of color. Doesn't really matter, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use brick yellow. As in like bubblegum simulator, the pathways there are quite brick yellow. It's going to make it a tad darker. There we are. And then we have it as a linen color. Looks very nice there now. And then what if we wanted to do, if we wanted to make it like a nice green colour, is just do the exact same thing there. So now that we have our spawn point, we're going to have to make a shop, um, a cell area, and then have basically our map all around us. So what we'll do here now, we'll make a shop. And I'm not going to time lapse this part because it may take a while, but yeah. Okay, so my good friend Basic, also known as a trial mod in, oh, well, now a moderator actually, a moderator in my Discord server, he actually made me these for me quite a quite a while ago now. now. So anyway, we got our shops here. As you can see, we can either choose which one we want. This is a sort of style, also known as low poly. And what low poly is is basically things without too much detail. And as you can see, it's just like a very cartoonish. Feel. A lot of you may say it's like very cartoony. Um, that's basically the whole point in low poly. But yeah, as we were saying earlier, let's just go back over here. Um, let's get this guy. We can always lower it down a tad. There, oh gosh, there we are. Good. And then what we can do now is get a part because we're going to make like a walkway. So if we just go get a grab a part here change it on a angle and if you uh, also are wondering how I do that with so many like lines there I can change it very accurate um, just watch my previous videos there it's called like the basics of Roblox studio just watch that and all the tips and stuff of that so you may see they actually may have a tad of a glitch there as you can see it like glitches through but yeah that's that you're gonna just have to cope with that to basically have it like that okay so good it's going to be very off, but I'm just going to have to move that then around here. 
and we don't I don't think we really need it that long. Just about there. Easy eyes. Good, good. Happy days. Perfect. Just like that. And then that's our uh, entrance to our shop done. We have our shop, and then we can also have sell. You can also just customize uh, colors and stuff. And also basic, if you don't mind, uh, me using these. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so there we are. There we are. We just rotate this now. Rotate it to about there, so we can put it on also an angle. Don't want them to be right next to each other. Easy as that. There's the shop. Great. And then now we're gonna work on like the outside of the map and the trees and like the hills that are also in the background. This the, making a simulator map is actually very basic if you know what you're doing. Um, it's really easy. There's your spawn right there. There's your shop and cell. All you gotta do is just get a couple of scripts to put in here by the cell and the shop. Easy as that. And then basically that's it. And then we're just gonna customize the outside of the whole um, the whole map with grass, everything that's really needed. So where's the base plate here? Hello, base plate. Where are is the base plate there? Okay, so we can make it a tad smaller. There we are. Just so I can actually um, good. And just so I can actually hit grass, I'm just going to move it down like that. Perfect. So now if I put in another one here. And always make sure to anchor. And then another easy way to uh, anchor everything is just to basically hold down on your left click, drag it, and then there, and then press anchor, and everything's anchored. Easy as that. So now if we go over here, good. And. They're good, okay, we'll just because we'll have to do it to perfection then. Not. Don't blame me, I'm not the best with low poly builds, yeah? I'm more of a realistic builder, to be honest, yeah. That's what I am. I'll actually probably show you guys some um, of the work I've actually been recently doing for people. It's actually pretty cool, it's really cool. Maybe even my, my bosses may even be watching the video, so hi bosses. How's it going, you know? Okay, there we are, that's the grass, and then as we said, we want it to have a cartoony sort of look. So we can give it a nice looking, mm, maybe a green like that, bright green and if we just go smooth plastic, there we are. As you can see we have our nice stores there, let's just quickly fix these because they're bugging me a lot now, they're really getting me mad. Perfect, easy as that, let's just get this in there, easy. A lot of you probably already know how to do this, but they are making this video for like the new beginners that are wanting to make simulators because I've seen a lot of people requesting to see how simulators are made because simulators have been taking off recently. Like last last year, the end of last year, they were literally blowing up everywhere. There were so many simulators and they, they, they were making tons of money with Game Pass and stuff. So yeah, a lot of you have been asking how to make like a simulator map. And all you really need now is just the decoration on the outside and a scripter and uh, the, it's the title page, everything like that. It's actually a basic thing to, to make because if you know what you're doing, you really do know what you do. Do know what you're doing, you know? Okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna quickly go make some some of the outside fills here, and you can use uh, also use Blender to make them. All I made is uh, if and if you do want. Um, the hills that I have in this video, make sure to DM me and I'll happily give them to you. So, yeah, because they they do take a bit of time to like Blender if you're new to Blender. And a lot of you may not even have Blender, you know, and not the best strongest PC to handle Blender. So, yeah. just ask me for the hills and I'll happily give them to you. Okay, so I just got the the hills here, and I actually got them from a good friend called Ty Ice Smito or however you say. You'll probably see him in my friends list, he's in my games sometimes. Not often, he's not the activist on Roblox, but um, he's a very good de developer. If you guys were here from last year, last year, like 
close to 1,000 subscribers, you may know that I actually did have a Floppies Hangout. And he basically actually made that for me, so yeah. It was actually really good. So as you can see, we have the hills here. They'll just go around uh, around the map. I'm going to make the map a little bit bigger. Uh, no. Keep it about there. Good. And then we can just spread these all around. Control D. And then change the sizes if we really want to. There we are. Just go like that. Easy. And we can make it different sizes. You can literally adjust these all you want. And you just make these in Blender. And if you do want to make your own, you can watch like tutorials of how to make how to make things in Blender, you know. I don't think it's too tricky. I've tried it a few times on different things, but it didn't really end the best, so I'm just like, I'd rather pay someone to get to do it for me. No, I don't wanna, don't want the thing to look bad. Okay, there we are. And I'm just basically just gonna time lapse myself now, going around the map, filling these all around. Um, and as, as I said, if you do want these mountains, the hills sort of things for your simulated game, Please DM me on Discord, link to my Discord server will be down in the description. I'll be happy to give these to you. And yeah, I'll see you after. Okay, so I just finished the mountains on the outside, and this is what it looks like, as you saw from the time lapse. As you can see, it is all low poly, a cartoonish look, and then there, that is basically our map right there. And then if we did want to add any trees, um, all you got to do is either use Blender, you can even use part by part My videos. For this one, if you but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the trees now. Okay, so I got a few more decorations to also go with the map here. As you can see, these are also a cartoon style. Pink trees, green, green tree, doesn't really matter. Then we have some rocks here, also made out of blender and some bushes. And I'm going to quickly time lapse of me just putting these all over the place. Because, quite self-explanatory, you just put trees everywhere. And yeah, you'll be good to go, to be honest. And then also, if you do did want some like portals around, you can always add portals. And I'll probably add some portals very, very soon. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly time lapse me putting trees around the map. Okay, there we go. As you guys can see, the whole simulator map is fully finished now. Um, you can obviously add more islands and change around the colors and stuff. But this is the basics of basically having a shop sell a simulator map and your spawn being right there. And then you have your portal, which you can make working. And yeah, that, that's basically it for um, the simulator map. You can obviously add way more detail and like things to do. Maybe there may even be an obby or like some water feature. Maybe a river do running down the back here or something. Something like that. But if you just wanted it just like this, that's how you do it. And obviously, as you can see, there's like parts underneath the tree. 
that's why you have to go around a little bit and just have a look around uh, underneath trees see where the bear are because as you can see under here it's literally a big mess now as you can see but that doesn't matter no one's going to go under the map so all good there but yeah guys i think that's going to be it for this video if you guys did want to ask any questions feel free down in the comments too and thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and like i'd really really appreciate it guys and i'll see everyone in the next video in part two for the scripting of the simulator map peace out guys peace